Funny story, my best shot of the week was an incomplete pass. This is my top five photos of the Vikings. Not Bears versus Vikings, the Vikings. Why? Justin Fields didn't play this week. The Bears were probably just trying to tank and lose the game. They ended up losing, getting the number one overall pick, so it made sense, and there just wasn't much excitement on the Bears end. So number five is Justin Jefferson. We have him warming up right here, and I actually walked up to him, and I was like, yo, can I get a pose? Totally ignored me. Worth a try though, you know? I walked up with my wide lens, 24 millimeter, got in his face, boom, 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 and got this shot. Now this was a highly edited photo because you can see everything super white, the background, his jersey. So I did edit it a lot, but getting that wide perspective, the intimate perspective that nobody ever really sees during warmups, that is amazing, especially when it's of one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. Number four, another one of Justin Jefferson, the player I was most excited to shoot during this game. This was during warmups. Now, a little bit scary whenever this happened. John was right next to me and I was closer to the corner. Justin Jefferson comes tiptoes and comes straight at me making this catch. I actually just jumped out of the way. I probably was a little bit dramatic, but the last thing I need is for him to make a catch and then get hurt by hitting me in pregame. If there's anything I don't want to be responsible for, it is the injury of one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. So I jumped out of the way. Nothing ended up happening, but I'm not going to lie. I was a little bit rattled. Funny story with this one as well. I actually missed focus for a lot of them. This was the last shot that I took before I jumped out of the way, but every single photo before this that I was spraying was out of focus. Probably my fault, should have had it on a different autofocus setting. You live, you learn, it is what it is. Number three, the boy, Kirk Cousins, right here. This with the 400 millimeter, probably standing like 10 to 15 feet away from him. So a shot where the 400 millimeter is not typically used. You cannot even tell what's going on in the background. That is what makes this shot special. If I got this with a 24 to 70, you would still see players blurred out in the back. Right here, you don't notice anything in the background. It is him totally separated, super, super tight shot. You can even zoom in and see how sharp his eye is, which is really cool in my opinion. But this this is Kirk Cousins, my favorite shot of him from the day, and a nice kind of shot that I haven't gotten in any other game this year. Number two, yes, I got inside of the Vikings tunnel during pregame. This was my last game shooting of the season, so I wanted to find a way to make my shots different, to maybe experience different things that I haven't experienced before this game. Right here, I knew I wanted to enter with the Vikings. I actually got in there with my 360 camera, as you see right here, and you'll see in my NFL vlog that'll be coming out soon. I got in there and they had the jukebox. They were all dancing around. I was right there with Dalvin Cook grabbing some intimate shots, but this was my favorite one. All of them lined up, ready to go, and you can just feel they're all psyched out, ready to go. This one is cool because I have nothing similar to it. Similar to why I liked the Kirk Cousins one previously, this I love because this was the first time I was in the tunnel whenever the players were about to enter. And number one. Now I mentioned there's a funny story to this and you might be able to tell what it is looking at the photo. This is Justin Jefferson stretching out just about as far as he possibly could to make this catch. Well, he dropped it. As you see in these next couple of photos, he dropped it, but that's the beauty of photo. You would never know that if I just posted this one off photo. That's what I'm gonna do on my Instagram. It is what it is. I love the photo. It's a beautiful photo. I actually cropped in a ton too with the 45 megapixel sensor from my camera. I have the ability to crop in so much. So you see, this is the original image and this is how much I cropped in. Which one do you like more? Comment below which one you like. I think I like the tighter one, but there's also something nice to seeing a Bears player in the foreground, so it creates more of a feeling of what's going on during the game. This was Justin Jefferson. If you look right here, I got a couple videos of him and these were during pregame. I threw together an edit that ended up performing pretty well because I posted it during the Vikings game. Vikings lost, so I wish they would have made a run a little bit so that I would have had more juice to use for my photos and my videos moving forward. But now we're rooting for the Eagles and we're rooting for the 49ers because I want to milk this content during the playoffs as much as I can. It's going to do better on social. I'm just being transparent with you guys. But anyways, those are my top five. This will be the last one of these videos or will it?
I'm going to rank all of my NFL photos coming up pretty soon, and it will be from every single game. My top 10 photos from every game that I shot this year. Eagles, 49ers, probably a lot of Bears shots since the Bears were obviously there for every game, but look forward to that video coming soon. I think it's going to be great, and I am going to have a hard time narrowing down my top 10 shots.